All right, check it out. Load it up and load it up. The best sound in the morning, right there, listen. That little mid-range no, woo! The best sound. Also, I haven't driven the wagon in probably two weeks. I've been dailing the Mark II. And going from the 50 horsepower in that car to now the wagon, this thing feels so much faster than it actually is. I used to say back in Germany, driving my Bora variant, then hopping in Miley with the VR6, it just makes the car feel so much faster than it actually is. And it feels good to be the wagon today. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to today's video. Currently heading down to SG Auto Works over in Kissimmee because today we're getting tires mounted on the Panamera wheels and they're going on the wagon. It's gonna look so good. I will say though, I don't have my 20 millimeter rear adapters in yet for the rear, so it's still gonna be the 30. It might be a little bit aggressive, but I think for the most part, it'll be fine. We're gonna go 215-35 on the nines in the front and a 225-35 on the tens in the rear, and it's gonna be a, a pretty spicy setup. I'm excited. This is like my go-to gas station, and I always get the exact same pump. It makes me happy. Give me that good stuff. Give me that good stuff. Yes, there it is. Okay, here we go. Can I mute this? I play a dating coach. So this holiday season, be sure to watch the holiday dating guide. I don't want to hear you. Shut up. Shut up. We ready. SG Auto Works, we got Stancy cars everywhere. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Brother, 28. This is actually what I'm here for. We're putting these on the wagon today. I'm selling the Porsche wheels. We're going, we're going 28 for the wagon. Holy crap, these are huge. There they are. Fresh meat. So 215.35, these two for the front, and then 225.35, these two for the rear. Woo. Love me some fresh tires. Let's get one last look at the wagon. We had a good run with the Cayenne wheels, but they're coming off today. Definitely hyped to see the nice bright wheel on the car. Stretch. This is the front. This is the 215.35 on the 9. Plenty of sidewall. Nice little stretch. Woo. Money. Oh, it's going. There it is. Woo. Nice little stretch. I like that. I never get to see my car rolling. Ooh, that's so exciting to see. This stretch, so perfect. Again, 225, 35 on a 10. 
a nice little stretch that matches the front almost spot on a little more in the rear we could have done a 215 35 on the 10 but i don't want to have that much stress on the back wheel so i think this is perfect oh it's so good as always shout out chris this man works so hard yo my man works so hard all the time let's make it happen man i heard killing always the vibes yeah if you're in florida anywhere in florida hit up chris the vibes the only man besides myself I trust to my wheels. <laughs> Always killing it. Damn. Perfect. Perfect. So we're gonna use these really awesome quick jacks, which I want a set of these for the garage, but lift up the car. I'm gonna put the 30s in the front. The 30s back here will stay. And the Panamera wheels going on the car. Again, massive thank you to Chris. Check him out. This man has been doing my wheels for years and years and years. And pretty much until I moved to Germany, um, this is the only person I would go to my wheels because he takes such good care of your stuff. Not gonna mess it up. This man is an absolute professional and will take care of your stuff. So anywhere in Florida, you want your wheels taken care of properly, this is definitely the place to go. better now Woo! so I said I need the 20 in the rear but the 30 is now perfect perfect do you agree bro yes and look the stretch everything looks on point yo the front and the rear, bro. hey my man my man I, killing I, it I, wow I'm surprised because when I test fit the 30 seemed way it's not way too wide but wider but honestly it's Perfect. These actually fit better in the rear than the Cayenne ones did. Oh, dude, it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, I'm getting the shot. I've, I've wanted that shot with my car in your shop for just so long. It looks so good. Yeah, this thing is sick, bro. You always kill it, bro. You always have something up your sleeve that it's just perfect. Listen, I don't know what I'm doing, but. This is the model. I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I figure it out sometimes. Wow, those came out good. So I guess final specs, 215, 35 in the front, 19 by 9 ET30, final offset for the front, and then 1910, 225, 35, final offset back here is 31. And I, again, I'm surprised because it wasn't supposed to be, I mean, it works though. So I guess my 30, my 20 millimeter adapter on the way, I don't need. Oh, this came out so good. Super high. Uh, factory is 19 by 10, 61 rear, and 19 by 9, 60. There you go. 30. Uh, 30 in front and rear. 30 all the so way. So 19 by 9, 30, 19 by 10, 31. And I was going to do 19 by 10, 41, but now I don't need it because... Nah, it's perfect, honestly. Yo, I, when I test fit it, it just seemed like it was so much further out, but I guess with a tire and... Bro, I don't it's know. crazy how the difference with a tire yeah. and then no tire. Because with a tire, you probably see that it sticks so out. And it, it, yeah, and it was... It would have been aggressive, it would have mm -hmm. worked, but it was out further. But now this fits better than those fit, and it's, it's like... It's crazy. It's perfect yeah. now. Yeah, it needs nothing. It's good. It needs the air ride, but we'll get there next. Yup. ASAP. I love this thing. From the Cayenne wheels, which will be missed, but I have no complaints with this. My man hooking me up with the brand new chrome caps. Woo! 
Look at that. Gotta look as spicy. The details, bro, the details. I still can't believe how good these fit. I could even go back to the 40 mil in the front if I wanted a little bit more aggressive. There's plenty of room in here. But the rear, look at the rear. Dude, it's spot on. Don't need the 20 mils, don't need nothing. No. Just thank you, Chris. Hooking it up. So I think after here, we're going next door, do a quick front end alignment on the car because the car's been driven thousands and thousands of miles just to make sure I don't tear up my new tires. Um, and then I'm not sure what else the plan for today is, but later tonight is Ace Cafe. They moved it from Friday to Saturday, so we can hit up Ace Cafe tonight with the new setup. Dude. Money. Never seen my car roll and it's so exciting to see. Oh, this silver looks killer. So we go next door, get that fresh alignment, then we good to go. Oh, they have the in-ground one? It's too easy. That's clean. That's clean. Yo, the in-ground alignment is, that's the move. Perfect. I still cannot believe how well these wheels fit this car. I can't believe this. Look at the rear, it's so good. Like, I could even lower the car more if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but I could. But once the air ride comes, this thing's gonna be perfect. Little little tuck in the front probably and sit right in the perp in the rear. The wagon getting all the love today. When I first bought it. Yeah, but that's the thing. It was remember the car didn't sit in like No, it wasn't. It was on the That's all right. Master, thank you. The hoes are at Fly Air. Hooking the wagon up with a fresh alignment. Make sure you guys check them out. They do air ride installs. They can do a bunch of other work too, but alignment and air ride. These are the guys to go to. Chris has that side, doing all your wheel and tire needs. And then right next door, you can do all your suspension and your alignment. Just everyone out here hooking it up. The wagon getting so much love today. All that green. We have what? Negative one on one side for the toe? Point two. Point two, yeah. I think it was this side out. So That's I noticed. Oh yeah. That's how it was good. Yeah. yeah. So somewhere in the midst of driving from all over the place, I hit a massive like crack in the road and my steering wheel went a little bit crooked. And then I noticed I'm pulling the cayenne wheels off. They have some chop on the inside, so definitely wanted to make sure the car was aligned properly before we destroy these brand new tires. So thank you, appreciate it, man. Taking care of the wagon. Now we got a fresh alignment. We're not gonna destroy no tires. Ready to go. I think it's negative one in the front and like negative like 1.5 in the rear, which is perfect. As long as your toe's good, you're set. So much love today. Again, massive shout out Fly Air. Check them on Instagram. Anywhere in Florida wants to air install it on alignment, they'll hook you up. Look at that full lock on 19s, no rubbing. This is his Civic on air on the TE37s. Couldn't be more stoked. Looks so good rolling. I never see my car driving, so it's so exciting to see. So he'll test drive it, make sure it's good. Oh, it sounds good. Woo! 
Love me some VR6. Wagon is looking just right. Again, massive thank you to Chris and SG Auto Works hooking up, mounting the tires, doing just an amazing job as always. And also to Fly Air doing the alignment, getting the wagon right, because my toe on the right side was out pretty bad and uh, didn't want to trash my new tires. So wheels got taken care of, alignment taken care of, all one-stop shop. So shout out to these guys hooking it up, taking care of the wagon. Now I'm gonna try and find a car wash so the wagon is filthy and then later tonight in about Two and a half hours at Ace Cafe. I'm um, getting they moved it from Friday to now Saturday. So we can hit up Ace Cafe on the new setup. Hopefully, have a nice wash wagon, which it might rain, but I'm hoping it doesn't. Either way, the wagon's filthy and needs to wash. So we're gonna do that next. Uh, definitely some food and then uh, Ace Cafe. It's just so good. I can't get over it. So, fun fact we are at Crazy Vern's Car Wash with the big old dinosaur over there. Before YouTube, this was back when I first got my lead, my very first, if I remember correctly, my very first ever car meet was here at this car wash. My buddy Randy was here, he had a Cobalt, I think it was boost at the time on Corvette C5 wheels. My very first ever car meet in Miley, back when she was still black, was right here. And this place was packed every inch of everywhere had a car somewhere music blasting like real Kissimmee kind of stuff but I'll never forget this is my very first car meet. I don't think I've been back here since then so in like 10 years I haven't really been here actually no one other time I came back again but for the most part I haven't been here in years and funny enough my first time ever here was in a uni black Volkswagen Jetta and now we're back years later in a uni black Volkswagen Jetta I cannot get over just how well this all came together. Also, got some tire shine on here. Now they're looking just, whew, the wagon's clean. Oh my goodness, it's looking so good. So the plan now, gonna go meet up with Larry and then we're heading off to Ace Cafe. First impressions, very, very awesome. 19s I the love move? It. Yeah, that's the move. I like 19s. Dude, this is so You know what's crazy? Cool. It's a 35 sidewall, but it rides so unbelievably smooth. And my alignment's like mint now. And funny enough, these wheels, even though they're wider than the Cayenne ones, the way my adapters were, these are actually now less aggressive and have more stretch. So like, it doesn't rub, it yeah, doesn't hit, like, like nothing. Perfect, man. For an inch bigger, road, you look Beautiful. Oh yeah, Larry had some rollers on the way here, so I'll put it in the video, but yeah. Man, that looks sweet. the bright wheels of the car, I'm a fan. Golly. So we Great made it to stuff. Ace. Uh, kind of slow-ish tonight, but yeah. the core group's here, so we'll hang out, have some food. Yeah. Danny what it is. said he's on his way. Oh, so. Danny's coming, cool. I Danny's see uh, Clayton's here. I think uh, Christina's somewhere. Prezi's over there, so 
do a little group of people here. Is but no fun day. Oh, it looks good on these wheels. And what's cool, so like ways. the fitment is a little bit closer now because the wheel's bigger. Yeah. But the car is not any lower to the ground, which is nice. So it's still like so very still drivable. Maintain that Dude, right it's line. so drivable. Like speed bumps, nothing rubs. Yeah, Ideal. Perfect. Good job, buddy. Good job. Well, it's funny enough, the rear was too wide. Well, not too wide, but more aggressive than this. But then yeah. with tires, it just like perfect. Yeah, yeah. No, that looks good. <sighs> not bad. So next up, Zender kit, and then it's, oh, appreciate it. <laughs> Zender kit, and then it's pretty much Eurotripper ready. I would love to put air in the car, but um, probably not for Eurotripper. But you know, this this car with these wheels, the Zender kit will be good to go. Yeah. Maybe if I can do the Porsche brakes as well, that'd be cool. But if not, I'm okay with this. Even as it sits, I'd be fine. This looks good. It came out good. With the All right, food time. Yeah, food, food time. Food time. I love this wagon. And I love his Porsche brakes. I need some for my car. Danny brought out the Passat. This one's 1AT 4 motion on air. On the Morbitz. Super cool car. Always love this. I want these wheels because they're sick in 21s. Wagon, another wagon, and another wagon. I should probably park over here and it's complete the whole lineup. Love to see it. All right, so I wanna show you guys something. A friend of mine here tonight has a set of 17Zs. They're right here. I was confusing the 17Zs with pretty much the Porsche boxer caliper, the four piston one or like the rear of the Tureg. This is the six piston and this caliper, when I tell you this thing is massive. So there's, there's the wheel and there's the caliper. Could I put this caliper on the wagon? I could do it. Be very expensive to do it. And it's a six piston. My pedal would probably go to the floor. So needless to say, 17 Zs are not going on this car, but I do still want to do the four piston boxer calipers. That's fine. The adapters are fine. Uh, I can do the 334 millimeter rotor. That's all good to go. This, however, this map, dude, this thing is so big. And this is a 19 inch wheel, and this is like still, it could be done, but um, I don't need this. So 17 Z's are not what I'm getting. We're doing Porsche boxer calipers that I think Prezi actually has. I'm gonna find out this week. And then we can do Porsche calipers on the wagon. Everything will be good to go. I'm gonna powder comb the same color as it currently is because it matches that and looks really nice. But we're not doing 17 Z's because these things are massive. On a Mark V, they fit pretty much directly and you use like a Mercedes rotor, but on a Mark IV, it's kind of expensive to do and again, six piston this massive caliper is just overkill for this car so just yeah these things <laughs> it's comical how massive this caliper is it really is all right well the rain is here so that means that it's time to go home <laughs> dude this setup came together even better than i could have imagined the way the wheels fit on this car is ridiculous. They fit so spot on. Like it's it's crazy to see how well they fit from our test fit to like actually on the car. Like it is literally perfect. They're wider than the Cayenne wheels, but they fit less aggressively. The stretch looks super nice. It matches front to rear. Just came together so, so nicely. Again, Thank you, Fly Air, for the alignment. The car rides so smooth. And shout out Chris for putting the tires on. Just the whole setup can here is so nice. The car doesn't rub. Uh, I can turn full lock to lock. It's 19s on the Mark IV. Money. So good. So wheels are on the car, out of the way. We have to have the Zener kit painted. And then possibly after that, I would love to have the Porsche calipers on the car. And then even after that, I would love to have the car in air, but that's getting 
way ahead of ourselves. But at least for Euro Tripper, the Panamera wheels with the Zender body kit is gonna be so good together. If we can knock out the brakes, that'd be dope. But we will, uh, we'll see. Either way, leave some comments down below. What do you guys think of the new setup on the wagon? I think it came together just perfect. The bright silver wheel on the black car just pops and I'm a fan. It rides so good. I was a little bit worried that the 35 sidewall would be a little bit rough, but it honestly rides perfect. And I've driven this car now up and down I-4. If you know I-4, you know I-4. Chilling. The car rides smooth. The wheel doesn't shake. It's just, again, the setup is money and I couldn't be happier. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to be thankful for every single day. See you guys next time. Peace.